Well, I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by Dean Robert Buckingham from the Saskatchewan University uh, School of Public Health. Robert, welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Very nice to see you. Could you tell us a little bit about your work in HIV AIDS around the world? Uh, I'd be delighted to. Uh, right now we have two projects that we're working on. I've been working on one project in Thailand for 10 years, and that's an HIV uh, clinic for pediatric children and also it's a hospice and orphanage um, in Chiang Mai, just north of uh, Bangkok. And uh, another project we have going on is Honduras called Clinica de Esperanza, which we're looking at uh, maternal and child health issues, as well as HIV in Honduras. Let's look at your project in Thailand first. What, what progress has been made there? Uh, back in 2000, I was in sabbatical from the University of New Mexico, and um, we started the first uh, hospice for children with AIDS. Uh, this basically came from the commercial sex industry and we started taking care of children of commercial sex workers. And uh, they oftentimes would give their children up. And what we try to do very simply is develop um, good palliative care for these children. And also uh, for some of the children, we developed an organization called Yen Ping House which is an orphanage uh, for these children. Uh, when I started there, and when I was sabbatical in 2000, we had uh, 156 um, children, and now we have about 600 children uh, at the Yuanping House in Chiang Mai. Has your particular work actually led to greater state-run capacity in Thailand? Oh yes, the, um, the Ministry of Health in Thailand is very progressive and has been very successful in decreasing the incidence of prevalence rates of HIV um, and have basically have cracked down pretty heavily on the commercial sex workers um, and uh, to some great success. Let's move on to Honduras now, Robert. Tell us a little bit about your work there. Honduras is a clinic we have there called Clinica Esperanza we started three years ago to basically serve the unmet needs of a very poor population. These are people living up in the hills of, um, of Honduras. Why did you do that? Uh, we did that basically, there was an unmet need. Um, uh, what happened after Hurricane Mitch, many families were made homeless. Many people on the mainland of Honduras went over to the Bay Islands, which includes Roatan, where we have our clinic in Sandy Bay and start taking jobs um, in the tourist industry. The people there uh, initially resented these folks because they took their jobs away and henceforth denied many of them medical care access. Uh, there was an unmet need. There was a retired Canadian nurse who started dispensing medication from her home. And now we have a clinic called Clinica de Esperanza with donations from people from all around the world. I know this is a difficult question to ask, but you've obviously been involved in the fight against HIV AIDS now for many years. When you look around the world, are you optimistic we're making progress? Oh yes, there's no, no doubt. There are pockets of, uh, of great tragedy, uh, but certainly throughout the world we are making pro progress. Sometimes it seems slow, sometimes it's frustrating, but uh, that's the nature of the game we're in. Robert, very interesting stuff, and thank you very much indeed for joining us today on Global Health TV.